So welcome back everyone. This time we're going to work on the cheap Jeep trailer. And we're going to wire up the trailer brakes using this junction box and 7-way trailer plug. This came as a kit off Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks, but I think it's a clean and simple way to install wiring into the trailer. So that's what we're going to do. We're also going to adjust the ride height on the suspension and put new tires on. It's in desperate need of both. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first task is finding a spot to put this. I think right about here is going to work best on this trailer. Not the best to access it, but it's really the most up and out of the way I can find. Okay, so before we put the wires in the junction box, we need to extend these wires coming off the trailer brakes. Okay, now that that's done, we'll go ahead and take care of the other side, run the, all the wires up to the junction box, and then wire everything up there. Okay, so there we are, we have it all wired up. Now, a few things I'm unsure about is the color code here, only because my trailer uh, has European lights because it's a Datsun, and I'm using the original tail lights from the Datsun. Uh, so, I might have the lights backwards, um, only because my color code doesn't match exactly what the book says, but uh, this is your standard color code in the box. So what we're gonna do now, before we go any further, make sure we have it right, is we're gonna back up a truck with a seven-way plug on it, and uh, hook it up and see if everything functions how it's supposed to. All right, here we go, let's test everything. Left blinker, okay, that's working. Right blinker, okay, that's working. Brakes, okay, running lights, okay, that works. Now let's see if the brakes work. Okay. All right, it all works. Looks like we got the uh, wiring all correct. So let's go tidy it up and put it all back together. And before I seal this up, I'm gonna put some dielectric grease on all of these exposed connections. Even though the box is pretty sealed, um, still gonna do this. It's probably gonna attract dirt and make a little bit of a mess, but I'd rather have it uh, get dirty than corroded. So, we're going to go do this. And one last thing I'm going to do is I uh, actually went and put dielectric grease all the way around the uh, inside of this cap. Uh, there is not a gasket in here, so uh, that'll just help seal everything out. All right, that guy's done. Uh, I'll tidy up these wires in a bit, but first, let's go ahead and adjust the suspension and get the new tires on. Okay, so here we are at the axle. We're gonna do the height adjustment now. And that's the neat thing about, about these. So these are FlexiRide uh, axles and they're independent suspension. And the really cool thing about them is because they put the spline shaft on here, uh, if you see those three dots in there, those three dots uh, tell you, uh, basically those are height indicators on uh, how far you can move. So this top dot here is how high you can go. This bottom dot here is how low you can go. Uh, I think we're gonna move about two or three teeth uh, and that probably should give me the height I need. There we go. Now, I think we're at about there will work. Okay, so here's the tire I chose. It's a Nexian AT Pro. It's a 235-75-15. Uh, 
Uh, basically, it's a cheap all-terrain tire that I thought uh, would work good for this trailer. Um, and I think the size is a good size too. Uh, we'll find out though, once we get it all on. So, let's get the tires on and see how they look. So I wired up the trailer brakes, adjusted the ride height, and installed new tires. I really think this thing has come along great. I really enjoy this project so far. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying it. Also, let me know what you think about that junction box with a seven-way trailer plug on it. Uh, I think that thing is really nice, not just for convenience, but also for troubleshooting. And later on, if you add or change anything, it makes it super easy to do. With that, guys, I'm going to go take this thing for a ride and see how it toes. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.